All this week, we've invited brewers from in and around the Twin Cities to challenge our chefs and come up with a recipe using their beer. The catch is the brewers will say exactly what kind of food they want made, and the chefs have to deliver. That is true. We're closing out the week with our kitchen star, Alice Soyford, who is taking the challenge from Surly Brewing Company. So we want to welcome Alice, of course. We're having Alice. Alice here with us. Thank you. And uh, before we get cooking, we got to take a look at your challenge. Okay. Alice, I challenge you to make an Asian stir fry with Cynic. Nice. Okay, yeah. I haven't had Cynic before. I'm uh, a Surly okay. Furious drinker. Well, there's a glass here if you want to have a while we're doing okay. some cooking. If I should do the research, uh, somebody, yeah. If yeah. I'm going to cook, I have mm -hmm. to have a cake. Okay, so we <laughs> are making works. a Cynic Ale stir fry. So we'll start with the sauce first. We have a cup of Yum. the Cynic Ale, so pour that right into the little pot there. Okay, pour it into here. This is good. Then we have some orange sauce and some sweet chili sauce. You can get that in the ethnic section of your grocery store. How pour much do you want? The whole bottle. Whoa! Yeah, pour Whoa. it right in. This is great. That's I know. crazy, the whole bottle. And, then, <laughs> and red chili sauce, we'll do that next. The whole bottle? Yes, the whole bottle. Now this is a little bit spicy. This it's adds a I, the I know, I know. Especially people in Minnesota, they get a little bit scared of spice. <laughs> if you don't like spice, add, instead of this chili sauce, add apricot jam. Oh, listen, we okay? like spice. Don't we like, we like okay. spice? We're spicy then people. we're going to add some orange zest and some honey to that, and then just whisk that right up. Okay, whisk away. And you got this wok, like, getting I screaming. Yeah. Ready so part spot. of a really good stir fry is you want to get the wok really hot yeah. before you cook it. So I've had it cranked up to high. It's I hot. rubbed it with a little bit of oil. Chris, do you want to put that I know, little I'm bit of oil there my dress right is in there? start on fire. It's so hot. Okay, another <laughs> trick. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's start getting those veggies in. Get okay. it in, get it in. We've got thinly sliced Vidalia onions. <laughs> Go, Chris. <laughs> yes. We've got red and orange peppers. Go, Chris Egger. Yeah, We've you're on fire. We've got sugar snow peas. <laughs> and there we go. Carrots. Love it. And lid. <laughs> lid. 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 Okay. Oh gosh, so, that was so stressful. Another roll. Thank you. Yes, good job. So Thank you. I need a drink. <laughs> another roll about stir fry. Mm -hmm. You want to cook your meat first, take it out, then do your veggies. So oh. I already did the meat. Okay. What kind of meat did you do? So I did chicken, and all I did with it was some black pepper and salt. So I should talk about this surly cynic ale. Yeah. Has some tones of apricot. Totally. It's a let me uh, let me try style. that again while you're it's talking about it. It's a Belgian style saison, so it's going to have some. Some of these notes of peaches, mm -hmm. apricots, yeah. black pepper. I think this is honey. such a refreshing hot weather beer, too. Yes. I mean, it, someday it'll yes. get hot, but this is a good way to use it. <laughs> so that's what we've got going in the sauce. And then we also have some of those fun colors, too. And then now that we have, we'll, we'll just pretend that we got all these veggies cooked up. We're yeah. going to put that sauce right in with the veggies. So we'll take that lid off. Should okay. we reduce the heat there? since it's around 900 degrees? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm scared of this. I was afraid. You can get your facial going. Whoa. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put this back here on the counter, and so then you want the to add the right sauce. In. Okay. So we'll pour the sauce in, and then we'll uh, put the chicken back in now. Oh, my gosh. This is good. And I like, I like a stir fry that has a lot of sauce. So. I made a lot of sauce. If you if you like it a little bit drier, you know you can reserve some because mm -hmm. the, the, you know we've already cooked it down a little bit. You could use that as like a dipping sauce for egg rolls or, or yeah. That's what a great What does idea. the beer bring to this when you were kind of putting this together? I think the the beer really complements. So it's complementing the dish in, in that we're doing the stir fry with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's also um, it's such a beautiful beer to drink with this. Like you're yeah. just everything complements each I other. I think that's a really cool thing because what mm -hmm. I've been hearing when you talk about pairing. Beer. Did I break something over here? Oh, okay. No, just okay. Sizzling. Just making sure. Um, that that with beer, it is nice to have it in the food. <laughs> yes, you broke something. <laughs> <laughs> the lid broke. So we've established that we have a hot walk here. Yikes. So that was really I would cool. like to apologize for that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and reduce the heat. So Elizabeth is going to take me shopping at Cook's this weekend Sorry. to get a new walk. Oh. No. I will, so, yes. So we've got, so let's get back to this. So we've got this, one of the really fun things I have about this stir fry is that um, we have some nectarines and some apricots that I chopped up. So nice. it gives it a nice, sweet, and cool. spicy I'll, I'll, taste I'll handle this so you can oh break it. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then the last thing I want to mention about, about this dish is that I have a little surprise as a garnish. Okay. So in some Asian, um, there's an Asian recipe called the son-in-law egg, and it's basically a deep fried egg. Yeah. And I thought, let's do something fun with that. So I did a Cynic Ale beer batter 
dip that in the hard boiled eggs. Oh, I'm I serving love it. that as the garnish. No with the dish. way. Yes. Okay, we got to bring Omar from Surly Brewing Company in here because he has been trying out the stir fry that Alice made, and this is intense, Omar. <laughs> Okay, so what do you think? I think that's great work. I <laughs> cannot believe that happened. Thank goodness and you got a beer. Again, uh, I'm very No, sorry. This, is, this is great. I had a little bit of it. It's fantastic. What do you like about the flavors? What's working with this particular beer? I think what my favorite part is the, uh, the, the son-in-law egg, the deep fried egg. So you know, with a number of Asian dishes, you know, I've had certainly some of the new Asian places around town that that egg sort of pulls it all together, I yeah. think, and that, that's what makes this whole thing come together. Yeah, and Surly's just doing so well. I mean, you guys are all over the place. Tell us a little bit about the brewery and the kind of beers you're producing. Yeah, well, we've, you know, we've just had our seventh anniversary coming up here and um, just brewing more beer and like a lot of craft breweries I'm sure you've had all week. Just yeah. Trying to brew enough beer. A lot of people are liking local craft beer, so we're, we're growing and trying to keep up. And you're going to be moving in the neighborhood here by the TV station. Before That's too right. Long. We're working on a new brewery, so uh, hopefully this fall oh, will be wow. breaking ground. You know sometime. what's neighborly is to invite your neighbors over for a beer. <laughs> that is. That is. I can't true. imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine that we'll that ever be, be over there. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> So close. Omar, thank, you thank you so, so much, much Alice. Thank you. Alice, great job. And I, again, let's just take one more look at what I did. I don't know yeah, how this careful. happened. I set it down. <laughs> Alice, I'll cut you a check after the show. Sorry about that. For all the recipes, including that we've showed you this week, Beer Week, go to TwinCitiesLive.com, click on food, and please be careful with your walk. <laughs> You can also go to Alice's Facebook page for a chance to win a, t a Surly t-shirt. Okay, and Alice is back next week. She has steak recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and she will need a new walk before that. <laughs> Still to come, no neckties. We have some great ideas for Father's Day, including some home beer tapping beer? system. Jerky, man cans. What? Some great Father's Day gift ideas. Sounds good. And three Minnesota designers, including Project Runway's Christopher Straub, combine what they make and what they find into an outfit. But here's the catch. It's got to cost 50 bucks or less. Plus, up next, Emily's getting ready for some baseball. I sure am. It's a TCL night out at the ballpark for the Saints tonight. Rob Barrett hanging out with me. He's got some cool takes on tailgating food, including these grilled nachos. That's coming up next.